What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Eric and in today's video we're going to be working on a 2006 BMW 330i. So this vehicle has a leaking oil filter housing gasket. Now you guys can see right here that it is leaking slowly. Um, and underneath it is pretty wet the whole front of this vehicle is covered in oil and the only thing that really has a lot of oil inside of it is this gasket um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to replace this so these are some of the tools that I'm gonna use to replace the gasket on the oil filter housing so I just have a ratchet a E10 a extension with the swivel and uh, something to remove the oil filter cap you want to make sure that your vehicle is cold when you do this uh, start off by removing the cap here you don't have to remove it all the way just loosen it up so that the oil that's inside of here goes back inside of the engine you'll hear a slight i guess swish of the oil when it goes back inside of there i already kind of did that um, you also want to make sure that the vehicle is cold so that you can remove some of the coolant because you're going to remove these three fasteners. This guy right here, this guy right here on the bottom, and then this other one right there inside that you can kind of see. Uh, this right here is a coolant line that goes to the oil filter housing to cool off the oil. Uh, behind here, these two kind of uh, things are divided by the gasket. And uh, when you remove these fasteners, you will leak coolant. So what we're going to do by removing the coolant is ensure that we don't lose too much of that. So what I'm going to do is start off by removing these uh, fasteners that hold down the plastic pan uh, to the vehicle. And then uh, once you do that, this will be loose. I'm not gonna remove it completely. I'm gonna go ahead and put my pan in between these two uh, plastic pieces. And then I'm just gonna remove the drain plug and just catch a little bit of the coolant in the bucket here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and remove the oil filter housing. All right, so as you can see, I didn't remove much coolant. I just kind of wanted the top part of the engine to have no coolant because we're gonna be disconnecting the um, oil filter housing and that has coolant behind it. So now the difficult part, I think, about this process is removing this fastener right here in the bottom and this fastener over here. This one is pretty accessible, uh, so I already kind of broke that loose. If I haven't said it so already, that's a E10. Um, now, for this bottom bolt, you are going to need some sort of tool like this, like a wrench, right? Um, an E10 wrench will be preferably better, but you guys can get away with using a 8mm 12-point uh, ratchet like this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you. Alright, so we just go down in there and uh, we want to make sure that you're on the fastener before you turn it all right you guys can see that I'm on that fastener pretty good so all you have to do here is just make sure that this doesn't slip off and uh, give it a turn and it should break this fastener loose so I ended up getting two out of the three fasteners kind of loose uh, this one's pretty much free this one is free as well but I can't back it off anymore because it's making contact with the plastic housing on this hose now you guys can just altogether remove this hose and connection however there is an o-ring behind there and sometimes when you remove it you might damage it and you're gonna have to replace the o-ring so this car is not leaking from there so I don't want to make any leaks by doing that so what I'm gonna do is loosen up this other fastener and then pull this out a little bit and then I should be able to wiggle that fastener out completely for the next fastener um, it is kind of hard for you to see but what I ended up doing to remove it or to actually loosen it is uh, this setup right here so I have a long extension with a ball tip kind of a swivel so it allows you to get just enough reach on that fastener uh, and it allows you to remove it so uh, that's how I was able to loosen that up 
and as you can see this guy is pretty loose now so what I do now is just remove these fasteners uh, probably disconnect this sensor right here uh, I think that's the oil pressure sensor I'm gonna disconnect that so I don't damage it and then I'm gonna just move this off to the side and remove the gasket so once you remove those fasteners you'll be able to push this back um, I did disconnect the sensor for the oil pressure switch uh, which is this little clip here that kind of just secures it in place you just lift it up with the flathead and then just pull out and it comes out um, so you can see it doesn't really make too much of a mess um, that's why it's important to remove some coolant so that you don't lose too much of it uh, what you can do now is clean the mating surfaces off and then also don't forget to remove your gasket obviously and replace it with your brand new gasket so this one is pretty bad it's very flat um, and that's why we're leaking all that oil down there so I'm gonna remove this with a small little pick and install our fresh new gasket and uh, this should take care of our issue yeah, um, I can do it for you. I'm finishing up a car right now, but I can probably be there like maybe, maybe like in an hour, bro. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, no worries. Or, Whenever you get a chance. Yeah, just send me your address and then uh, uh I'll shoot over there. Will do. All right, bro. All right, thank you. All right, man. The only, the only thing I don't have, uh, I don't have jack stands. I'm in the bed. Oh. <laughs> okay, I can take some. Jack sense. Okay, I'll, I'll take some for sure. <laughs> Alright, man. Thank you. Alright, dude. Yeah. Alright, set. Alright, so I have the replacement gasket right here. Um, personally, I kind of don't like the aftermarket gaskets for these types of vehicles. If I were you guys, I would replace it with OEM. This vehicle gets driven daily, so we can't really wait for the part to come in. So I'm going to put this aftermarket part in there, and hopefully it doesn't have any issues. So pretty self-explanatory, I'm going to just go ahead and put this on there and uh, fasten it back down. Now, as you can see, I am reusing these stock fasteners. I've done a lot of research on this, and if these guys are not uh, blue on top, then you can reuse them. Um, so I am gonna reuse these, but just make sure that you don't over torque them because you can break them. So I put everything back together. Last part is to put this sensor back in here, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and just top off our coolant and uh, inspect any leaks but I think we should be good I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go underneath and do that off camera um, and then I'm also gonna fill up the coolant so make sure to do that as well if you guys did like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up consider subscribing for more videos and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out